Are you tired of the carousel feature in Elementor where it only scrolls one by one? For example, if you want your logo to basically showcase of all the clients you have worked with, this is the video for you. So this is the website. Well, this is our agency website where we basically have all, some of our clients. Actually, we need to update this, but we have some of our clients that just goes around in, you can say a carousel, an infinity carousel, where we also have two borders on each side that makes it look like it fades away. So how do we actually create this? If you just go into the back end here, we can see that this is actually just a normal image carousel. But if you just go in and fetch an image carousel, image carousel here. Uh, oh, wait, that was an image. Let's go image carousel here. We can see that it actually give us, gives us a lot of other different things that we don't want. So let me just find what I'm looking for. So this is normally what it looks like. It basically just scrolls and then you can design the speed and just pick how many images and how many logos they want to do and skip every time. Here we have one logo it skips as a timer. And if you scroll down, this is what we want it to look like. So you see here, we have some rough corners every time we switch. We can see it has some rough corners. So this is actually what we're going to do. <laughs> what we are going to do, all right? So we're going to pick the images we want. And if we just go inside of the library here, we can see that the images we have here is 250 times 250. So here it's very important that the images are the right size, all right? So in this case, what we want to do as well is basically we want to go inside of the advanced tab and add some custom code here, right? So I will link this custom code in the description of this video. So you can also, if I just look at here, look at this one that works. Let me just go up here and I'll insert the code. And I'll also go inside and pick all of the same settings here. All right. You can pick different sizes. That's all right. We have six uh, images we want to uh, have on the screen at the same time. It scrolls one at a time, no stretch and all these things. And we go into additional informations. There we have autoplay, of course. We have this speed, this should be zero, all right? And then we have 5,000, that is just the speed we have chosen. And then we want it to be sliding left. And if I click update here, and we just go out to the page where we watch everything, we can see that now it actually works and it is so clean. And if we go down in size as well, let us just do that really quick we can see that it actually follows, wait, it follows along, all right? You can see that it actually follows along nicely. But what you need to think about here, all right? You see on mobile, it doesn't have these fade effects. And that's because the fade effects can be a little bit weird when you do it responsive. It is still there, but the problem is that the fade effects has some kind of width, right? So that means they have to be smaller. So that's why it does not work on mobile. So we just disabled that feature but if you go into uh, the advanced settings and the custom css i will just show you where i can find the colors all right yeah it's down here <laughs> i don't know why i did not see it yeah we have it here so this is like left and right side so you just have to pick a different color so basically you can type black here you can type a color combination if you want to do that a hex code code and then it's just working so let me know if you like this video and if you want more tips about wordpress and elementor and how to create beautiful and stunning conversion optimized website you can actually join our free community that's called performance hub where we have a free discord channel where i will be in there working sometimes and a bunch of other agency owners are also welcome to come in there and then we can basically learn together and i can give out some free tips all right so see you guys in the performance hub